telling you to surrender. I'm telling well, you, you to fight. I'm telling you that if you step up and walk out, your fight will endure. Your fight will endure. If you don't get up and step out, your, your fight is gone. David, did you not hear me? I have a nine-year-old. I have a nine-year-old. Do you have brothers or sisters? David, do you have brothers or sisters? Brother. Um, a brother? Uh, sorry, sorry, Mark. Uh, an older yeah, brother? I, I an like, basically, you guys you guys are all don't realize that, like I said, my grievances haven't been addressed. Well, are you guys going to promise me that I'll be able to find a way of income without having to pay taxes to atrocity? Are you going to, can you I promise, promise me? You, it's I my promise freedom you, of religion. I have I promise, my freedom of religion. I, I don't have to vote for it, guys. I shouldn't have to vote for it. It's me. I, I promise you, you don't. And I don't care what Christ says. I don't care what no book or Bible says. I'm not a Christian. I'm a Messianic Judas, okay? Judaism. So I am taking my stand because you guys take everything out of context. It's better to die with honor than be forced to live dishonorably. And so that's what I'm doing. And so you guys can address my grievances. You guys will have to probably kill me or watch me kill myself, one of the two, because... You guys haven't done anything for me. If you honestly cared about me, you would be fixing these grievances right now as I speak. Find a way to make things happen, but you guys don't. So my, my life means nothing. So me surrendering is only you doing your job. I'm not going to just let you do your job and walk away with clean hands. I'm going to give you dirty hands because you guys deserve it. I promise you that if you don't walk out of that room, there's nothing we can do for you. You said, will right, you I'll promise that. you that you will, will you promise but, but, me that you I don't care what you can do for me. I only care about what my God, my father, Yah, and my brother in Christ, Yahshua, I care what they can do for me. And they promised me many things. And so I'm going to take that opportunity. I'm going to take this opportunity. And I'm going to stand for what I believe in and make my stand. I'm not going to cower in the face of evil. Mark, if you love me, you will try to make some deals. Instead of just coming in here with brute force and, and then, you know, trying to scare us out of here. I'm not that easily scared. I'm willing to die. Okay. So you still haven't addressed the grievances. Because it's better to go. I, I'd rather just pass along and move on because I don't want to be forced here and, and, and slowly dwindle in this corrupt system. The longer you sit there and keep paying taxes to all these atrocities, you're losing a little something and you don't even see it. So you're losing and they're taking it from you. Well, nobody wants a lot of the things going on in this world. I never asked for all those Pakistani ch children to be drone strike by fucking on my tax dollars. YouTube channel, Defend Your Base, and I'm defending my base. And that's my soul, my body, my mind, my spirit. I'm defending all of that. And then I try to defend my country, which is, you know, it's not the priority because myself is my priority, me and my God. And so I try to save my country in the process of saving myself. But, you know, I guess Americans just don't care. And that's not fair, David. It is fair. How long do you guys no, need? World War that One, is, that is not World War Two was a scam. Vietnam War was a scam. The whole Cold War shit was a scam. Everything was just all these bankers and shit pulling the strings, and you American people keep thinking you can vote your way out of it. You guys are stupid. That's the definition of insanity. Keep trying the same tactic and expecting a different result. You guys keep electing the lesser evil. But David, Ammon didn't, Ammon didn't try the same tactic. People are standing up and they're trying bold tactics and they're standing up to love their neighbor. And so thing, things are shifting. People are standing differently. People are doing more than just voting. What's that noise? I could hear some noise. I don't know. Could. Are they still talking to you? Is is Reverend Graham there? I hope it's just a win. I hope you guys are trying to attack me. Wow. 
Have you talked to Reverend Graham, David? Is he there? I'm talking to Mark, the FBI agent. Okay. And I think I think you guys don't just need to address my grievances. You guys haven't made it feel safe. I, I feel I feel like my life is threatened right now, and it is. And you guys, you guys should just leave me alone. I'll be fine in here by myself. So you guys can address my grievances. I just plan to sit here. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm on my own business. No, as long as nobody attacks or tries to come in here, then then no one's gonna get hurt. Yeah, because if, if you guys, if I if I if I think I hear something, do something in here, I think I'm just gonna do it. Because I'd rather not go to prison. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get arrested for this shit. That's why I'm, I'm making sure I, I'm making sure I'm not coming out of here alive. So I'll kill myself before you guys fucking take me. Even if you, if you guys throw a fucking gas can in here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it too. You guys, you guys have gone right, way so too hey, far. This is, this is what this I can't do that. Well, I think I think you guys just need to back away and let me uh, let me let me give me some room and and more days to think about it because I just don't feel comfortable coming out without you guys have addressing any of my grievances. Nothing. David, you're you're not the only one that is that knows what's going wrong in this country. You're not the only one who knows that there's a fight, and you're not the only one that is fighting. Oh, I'm the only one that's that's still here. No, you are not. That is not the fight, David. The fight is what's oh. going on everywhere around this country. The fight is what the Coalition of Western States is doing. The fight is the education movement that is happening, where we have people like the Tenth Amendment Center fighting. We have people like Ben Swan fighting. We have people like Jason Stapleton fighting in the media. We have people fighting in uh, for our Constitution. We've got the the people who are, are are teaching people how to take that stand. We've been we have been so negligent for so long. We don't even know. We're like we're like people who've been in a coma and we've lost our ability to walk. Everything. I mean, look how look how stupid the American people are. Even like, I'm gonna say it right now. I don't care if you guys think I'm a, but UFOs are real. Alien stuff. That, I don't. I don't know if they're aliens, but little UFO things. You know, people flying around David, a station. Listen still. to me. Look, 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 look. I want you to stop look, for just a second and listen because I think you have you know pretty interesting info against you guys. If you guys keep allowing the government hide everything, the Secret Inventions Act, you know, 1951, they keep suppressing all your technology so you can't ever advance. Yeah, they keep taking from you guys, and you guys allow it. You, you don't even realize how much of your future has been stolen. In fact, the people should be all dependent on solar right now instead of oil. We should both be solar, but they suppress that. David. Secret Inventions Act, 1951. Keep up. That word was made. David. I love technology. I'm a technological lover. I, I, I believe man was made to build, and these people that are controlling us and suppressing us are the people that need to be removed, and I'm trying to expose them, and you guys are not going to try to attack me and put me behind bars. And my words probably will never get hurt because I'll be buried behind the court system. And you people will move on to watching football. We, we already told you that. We're already in this fight. I've been in this fight for six years, and I think you have two options, David. You can walk out of that room and continue this fight, or you can Bill? stay there and lose your voice. Hey, hello. And leave us, and leave us all hanging Bill? to fight alone, without you. You can lose your voice and leave us to fight without you, or you can do what you need to do and leave Please. and meet us and continue to fight with us. That's, that's the choice you have to make today. There is no other talk. There is no other debate. That's it. You just... You have to make a choice. Are you going to leave and help us with this fight? Or are you going to stay behind and, and, uh, and let yeah. us do it without, uh, on our own? When I, was, when I was pulled over by a cop, he told me 
that you look like a Ron Paul voter. And I said, yeah, I did. And, and him and his buddy looked at each other and laughed and said, we voted for Obama. And that's the crap I had to deal with law enforcement. So I don't have a very friendly, cuddly image of them right now. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's your choice, David. That's your choice. And David, you, you walk out and you and you fight with us, and you try to change the mentality, and you work with us, or you stay there and you you leave us to fight without you. I mean that that's 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 the choice. And and we've been doing this now for two hours, and there's not really there's nothing more that we can say to you to help this. And I and I I, I can't help you if you won't listen. I cannot help you if you won't walk out. I cannot help you if nothing, if, if you are not going to take that step. I'm telling you, I cannot help you. So you have to make the choice. What are you going to do? Because I'm, I, I, there's nothing else that I can do for you. There's nothing else that Gavin can do for you. There's nothing else that the people of America can do for you if you don't make the choice yourself. And so you got to make that choice. What do you want to do? You want to walk out of the room and join us in this fight? Or do you want to stay and let us fight along? I mean, we have we have entire states standing up right now. We have Arizona standing up, Texas standing up, Idaho, Oklahoma. People are rising up everywhere. Do you know that it took 15 years for our colonists to stand up and take a stand? 15 years. And we're, we're already moving faster than they are. So... That's your choice, David, because I've got nothing else to offer you. I don't, I don't really care what people think of me. That's the problem. I don't care what people think of it's, me. It's not about what people think about you, David. It's about being a valuable being, being part no, of this no, life. No, you guys, everybody, everybody has the right and uh, uh, the opportunity in this country to, to make themselves better. You don't need me around to do that. You guys already know everything you should know. It, it, or you no, guys I have don't, to I don't think you're wrong. You're, you're wrong there. You're wrong. We do need you, and that's why we're here. But I'm, I, I can't, I can't do anything more for you if you're, if you're not going to help yourself. David, and that you, breaks my heart. David, you know that Ammon's that not really, a coward. It really breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. So I don't know what. David Ammon went with them, and his voice is still getting out. I never was, David. What was that, Phil? Well, I, I think I think any everybody everybody needs to understand that Obama is a traitor at this point, and if you still love him or, or still acknowledge him as your commander in chief, then then you can't do your oath. You know who I should have called? I should have, I should have called one of those Muslim clerics. I wish I, was, I was had a chance to talk to a real Muslim cleric. 